What's up Lingo fans, it's your boy Coop and I'm going to be reviewing today Rich the Kid, The World is Yours 2. Okay, so to start off, this is a continuation of the first album titled The World is Yours. Um, and this is the second album by that plug walk rapper, but just to tell you, this album was pretty much trash. I'm the trash man! I started eating garbage! I didn't like this album at all, and uh, let me just get into it and first I'll tell you that at least I really liked the first album, it had a lot of bangers, and I listened to quite a few songs from it. It was laced with great production, good features, and a fresh style. Now the second, second album, however, that being said, was a huge letdown. Usually the second album shows growth or shows more of an artist, yet this album was Rich the Kid basically doing the same shit across lackluster beats and the features couldn't even carry him. This guy, you know how he's, when he says dripping and floating on stuff and sliding? He wasn't sliding on any of these songs. So first let me say about Rich the Kid's flow, which was a main, main thing for me that was really, really annoying me. It was not interesting at all, and it wasn't different at all. He was literally using the same repetitive flow on every single song. With that, that's what's wrong right now. Everybody trying to rap the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Amigos, but all them niggas sound the same. Like, it was honestly so annoying, and he didn't add any lyricism to it at all. So his lyrics are basically absolute trash. And he was, it was like he was basically shitting out the album while doing the plug walk down the road. So I'm basically sick of hearing him at this point and what he talks about because it's basically just pussy, jewelry, and drugs. It's like there's nothing else to this man. He has no life, he has no ambition, no nothing. All he talks about is dripping, uh, 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 a little bit of splash, water, uh, jewelry. Nah, I wasn't feeling this at all. Now let me go over the songs that I actually did like. And that was basically four of these songs. I like the intro. I like the song Splashing, and that was also a single that he released beforehand. Another song that I liked was Whoa, and that song was basically just carried by Miguel and Ty Dolla Sign, and Rich the Kid basically messed that whole song up whenever he came on. And lastly, I would say that Save was another good song, but I feel like that was basically good because the beat was really good. He had the flutes and everything, and that sounded really, really nice. Now, the trash songs of this album is basically the rest because everything else was a freaking disappointment. And there were so many that I'm not even gonna mention them, okay? So overall, this album was a disappointment to say the least. Um, I'm surprised that Rich the Kid said that this was gonna be album of the year because this is definitely one of the most trash albums of the year in my point. And for my rating, I would give this album a solid two and a half. And that's basically it, because this world is definitely not mine and I'm not going to be re listening to this album ever again. Thank you, and this is your Lingo album review. Please let me know in the comments what you would like me to re review next and anything else. And please give us a like and subscribe.